Gabe Davis signs a three-year, $39 million deal, $11 million guaranteed to Jacksonville. And Gabe Davis was one of those players that, man, he was tied to Josh Allen. And we always thought, oh, he could have a big game here and a big game there. But ultimately, Gabe Davis, he does have big games from time to time, finishes wide receiver 36 in best ball value rating. And so for a player who <clears throat> is a wide receiver two on a team, maybe a wide receiver three, playing on the outside. So we've got Gabe Davis on the outside. We've got Christian Kirk in the slot. We've got Evan Ingram in the slot. It depends on what happens with Calvin Ridley. If Ridley does not re-sign with Jacksonville, and Jacksonville is still negotiating based on the latest rumors that I'm hearing, Calvin Ridley may return to the Jacksonville Jaguars. However, if he doesn't, Zay Jones will play on the outside. Gabe Davis will also play on the outside. I think that if <clears throat> the Jacksonville Jaguars miss on Calvin Ridley, they need to go after a T. Higgins type. They need to go after another alpha type. They cannot go into the season with Gabe Davis slash Christian Kirk slash Zay Jones as the number one wide receiver. Like the wide receiver struggled last year to connect with Trevor Lawrence, at least give Lawrence another chance. And that's why I'm here pounding the table for Calvin Ridley to return to Jacksonville. But Gabe Davis is there and I think would be a fine number two. But this is the contingency plan for Jacksonville whether or not they're able to re-sign Calvin Ridley. It's been frustrating as a Gabe Davis manager over the course of the last few years. However, in best ball, you're not really having to pay a, a super premium for Gabe Davis, right? If you like the content and found it helpful, smash the subscribe button. Gabe Davis right now, wide receiver 62, being drafted 100 in the back end of the 12th round, 139 overall. I think is a very, very easy click for the best ball upside players. He's going to have big plays. He's got a high A dot. He's a downfield, big bodied receiver with good enough speed. He just has no burst and no agility. <laughs> like he's not an athletic player relative to the other wide receivers. However, he does have speed and he's got a big body and that's that, that counts for something. So Gabe Davis is a player that we, are buying at wide receiver 62 he can drop from what he did last year and still be very very productive so gabe davis three years 39 million dollars to go to jacksonville